Fishing is generally done by men at night when the tide is present. And as soon as the men return to port, the product is taken over by women who will smoke it and later cook or sell. Artisanal fishing is predominant here, making for most of the money that changes hands in the area. It depends. There are times when we go fishing and bring lots of shrimp, and buyers are also many. That is how we work. Some are charged about 200 to 300 times more, and yet they don't fill up two nylons. And since it's a shrimp season, we have the opportunity to charge as much. The process is a well-organized flow of activities. Specific people smoke the shrimp, others carry to the port of the island before they hit the markets. The thriving business is, however, facing challenges, with the biggest being receding waters. It's been 17 years since I started doing my business here. When I arrived, the water was not yet at that level. I have a canoe for fishing shrimp, I have two stores, I also sell fresh fish and I'm married. Everything works fine besides the problem of receding water. Businessmen are now appealing to the government to intervene and help preserve the historic value of the Cape. But you know Cape Cameroon in history? This is where the names come from in Cameroon. Because when the Portuguese came to Cameroon, they found shrimp, Rio de Camaros. The state must protect it. We must build jetties to secure the island. It would have been done a long time ago, but we neglected it, and now we suffer. With a coastline of 402 kilometers and an exclusive economic zone of over 16,000 square kilometers, Cameroon has a fairly extensive marine area. Fisheries contribute about 21% of Cameroon's GDP. Exports mainly consist of mackerel, shrimp, cod and sardines. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.